Hey! Ever wonder what an angular injection context is or why you should care? Let's take a look. Angular uses dependency injection to provide services to our components, directives, pipes, and custom services. You've probably used a constructor to inject an Angular service. In this example, we need Angular's HTTP client service to retrieve data, so we inject that service using a constructor. This is dependency injection. Starting in Angular version 14, we can instead inject a dependency using the inject function, and I'll add the import. We assign the result to a variable that represents the reference to that dependency. We then use that variable to access any properties or methods, like we do here. The inject function provides a simpler and more readable technique for injecting dependencies in our Angular code. Let's look at another example. In our component, we need access to the user data and to do data from our custom services, so we inject those services using the constructor. Or we can instead use the inject function for each dependency. I'll update the import and comment out the constructor. The code can then access the signal from the user service here and from the to do service here. So, we can use either construction based dependency injection or the inject function to inject external services that our code needs. What about injection context? Angular's dependency injection system relies on a runtime context called the injection context. We can only use dependency injection in code that runs in that injection context. The injection context is available during construction of a component, directive, pipe, or service. So the constructor is executed in the injection context. That's why we can use the constructor for dependency injection. Or we could use the inject function within the constructor like this. I'll undo that. The injection context is also available when initializing fields of a component, directive, pipe, or service. In this example, that's here, where we define any class-level fields. This is why we can use the inject function here. In addition, the injection context is available in several other more advanced situations, such as useFactory. Note that the injection context is not available within lifecycle hooks nor in class methods. Let's try it out. Scrolling down, we currently inject our dependencies here at the top. Since this is part of the field initialization, it is within the injection context, and the injection function injects the dependencies. If we drop down the select box, we see a list of names. Let's add a lifecycle hook to our component. First, we'll implement onInit. Then add the ng on init method. We'll try to use the inject within this lifecycle hook. I'll comment out the user service inject here, and instead define it within the lifecycle hook. Since the user service variable is now private to the ng on init function, we need to adjust this code as well. I'll declare the user's read only signal here, and use the quick fix to add the imports. Then in the ng on init, I'll set the signal to the signal from the service. So we're injecting the service and referencing its user signal, all within this lifecycle hook. Now if we drop down the list, we don't see any names. I'll open the preview in a new tab, connect to the project, and rearrange the windows. When I open the browser console, we see an error. Inject must be called from an injection context, such as a constructor, a factory function, a field initializer, or a function used with run in injection context. And now we know what that message means. Within the lifecycle hook, we aren't within the injection context. Let's try moving the code to our onClick method. I'll comment out the first line of the method. Then in the browser, click the button. We again see the error. We aren't within the injection context. Let's undo all of that. 
Now that we are again injecting the dependency when our class level variables are initialized, we are within the injection context, and all is well. We see the list of users, and no errors. One thing I want to point out is that we can also use the inject function in an exported function. Here's an example. Let's say that our company creates a set of utility functions for common programming tasks, such as retrieving a set of users as a signal. Our utility function looks like this. And we call that function like this. Everything we need to get the users is now in one compact little function. Here is one place where we couldn't use the constructor-based dependency injection because a function doesn't have a constructor. Note that the inject function works here because the injection context of our function is based on where the function was called. We call the function here as part of the class level field initialization, so it is within the injection context. Nice! Trying it out, it works! We see the list of users. Now, I'm not suggesting that you should start moving service code into functions, but there may be times that you need a library of reusable functions for your team. And now with the inject function, that code can inject provider dependencies as needed. I'll undo this code. So, an injection context is the runtime context used by Angular's dependency injection system. Services can only be injected within this context, so either in a constructor or when the class level variables are set. There are several more advanced situations, such as useFactory, where the injection context is available. See the Angular documentation for more information on those scenarios. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.